In today's video, we're going to talk about automating PDF forms, whether they're medical patient records or student uh, travel request forms. Uh, it's a very similar process. So we start with a, a form, a PDF form that's going to come into ImageRamp along with a list of recipients for that form coming from an external data management system. And ImageRamp will then create a unique file for each of the identified um, individuals coming from the CRM system and stamp them with a unique barcode for later uh, processing. And from there, we can automatically send an email with the uh, form to the appropriate person. We can send them off to a printer if the email address uh, kicks back. Uh, and we store a record into either a SharePoint or a SQL Server repository. The form itself can, gets delivered to the individual. They'll fill out the form, maybe add a signature, and then send it back via email or through scanning um, methods. And then the documents are processed and information about the fact that the form has been completed by that particular individual and now it's accessible by our search and retrieval system. So our process is pretty straightforward. We just go into the forms manager, open up the template that we want to work with. So we have a an office visit for medical applications. We can have a student travel request form. And this particular form has a number of fields that are defined and match up with the data that we're going to import. And they can be on multiple pages, as you'll see. So then we go and import our list. So I have some uh, medical, to, medical consent forms to process. And it'll bring in that list, and it'll show me what process properly. And if there's any uh, data validation errors, like a poor email address, uh, it'll flag those particular pages. And now I can uh, take a look at my forms. And the data is automatically filled in on each page, including the patient name, the doctor's name, and so forth. So then we can submit this to our registered database. We happen to have a SharePoint instance here. And it would email each of the individual items to the recipients. And if it has uh, issues with the email address, it'll generate a printed copy that you can send through traditional mail services. And now we can see our SharePoint instance. And we configured it to automatically create a folder name for each of the patients. And within that, we have the metadata that comes out of the forms, the physician's name, the MPI number, when it was sent, and what the status is. So whether it was printed or emailed or returned, uh, this will keep track of the status of each of those forms.